So here is the workflow to record your voice and then use your voice in an action setting. Um, in class we looked at the easiest way is that would be using Vocaroo. Of course, there you also, also see a video linked on how to use Audacity, which is a free piece of software you can download to your computer, Windows or Macintosh, and record your voice and save it in WAV format. But here I'm going to use Vocaroo. So Vocaroo.com, click to record, authorize your microphone, and start speaking. This is my first voice recording with Vocaroo.com. When you're done, stop, listen, play back, and start speaking. This is my... If it's you don't like it, you can retry. If you like it, come down here, click to save. And of course, you want to download it as a WAV file. So you can put it in your project folder. It was a quick download. I look in my downloads folder, and there it is, vocru.wave. I'm going to rename it so I can easily identify it in my project folder. And of course, I want to move it into my project folder. So now that we've created our audio, our voice recording using vocaroo.com or any other software that records in WAV format, we're going to embed that sound in an action button using action settings. So the first way is the traditional action button. So let me just go through that step. I'm going to click on auto shapes here and choose action button. Of course it could be any auto shape but the action button um, is one of those choices. I click on it, my mouse becomes a little crosshairs. I click my mouse and hold and drag to the size I want and when I let go the programming screen comes up. I want to play a sound, but not a built-in sound, so I'll go to the very bottom and pick Other Sound, navigate to my PowerPoint project folder where I put my Vocaroo voice recording, pick it, and it's easy to find because I named it appropriately, and insert it, and say OK. The other way is just using any old piece of clip art, or text box, or anything. You just right-click on it, and choose Action Settings. And then we want it to play a sound. Scroll down again to the bottom and choose Other Sound. Go to your PowerPoint folder where you've put those sounds that you've recorded. And say OK. Again, I could use the, this text box here. I could do the same thing by clicking on the outside of it. Right click, Action Settings, Play Sound. Go to my Other Sounds at the bottom go into my PowerPoint folder, project folder, pick that voice recording, and done. So that's how you make objects clickable using action settings to play sounds. So I'll test this out. And start speaking. This is my first voice recording with vocaroo.com. I'll test out the cat here. And start speaking. This is my first that one voice recording with vocaroo.com. And I'll test out my regular old text box. And start speaking. And this is my works. first voice recording. So they all work. That is how that is done.